I don't know what you're on, but can I have some? <laughs> Nothing but excitement and prescribed Adderall. Z, I'm not giving you my Adderall for one class. Besides, this could be fun. A whole semester of us getting to learn about what really makes the world go round. The exploitation of people because they can pose for a camera or hold a tune. Fascinating. Ignore them. I guarantee you by week two, they'll be drafting a thesis on the Miley Nikki feud. Another date? Wanted that make the third this week? Uh, no! It'd be the fourth. Jesus, free. Just promise you won't hurt them. Again, ignore them. They just don't get it. I mean, I'm a femme, Leo lesbian that's actually been to therapy, so I'm basically a chick magnet. What am I gonna do? Say no? It's not very sex positive of you. Or is it positive? You call me crying every night because she just didn't feel right. Judge you of how you cope, do I? Isn't that? Yeah. Okay, so you know how I told Z that I've been hooking up to cope. Well, she's why. B. Together for a year and a half, and then she. Her. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it must be the Adderall because it sounded like you just told me to talk to her. Yeah, because I did. If you two are gonna be in the same class together, you shouldn't be hitting each other the whole time. What if you get paired up for something? See, there's other people in the class. And if the universe loves me like I know it does, I'm gonna be paired with like complete strangers a whole semester. We probably won't even see each other that much. Strangers, huh? Okay. Did I take like too much melatonin and end up in like a bachelor fever dream? Re. Hello. Uh. Sid, I wanted to say I loved your short film. It was very visceral. Thanks. The cannibalism is supposed to be a metaphor for our troubled relationship with intimacy post-pandemic. Cool. And Cassie, you did such an amazing job in it. Like, I was really believing you were eating that girl's heart. Mm, my acting coach told me to imagine the heart as a Tarantino apologist. That's so cool. So, uh, I heard you guys had this, like, poly thing going on now, and we've had things for each other, so I was wondering, maybe... Yeah, I mean, we could... <clears throat> Send me a DM with your full chart, five love languages, and top four on Letterboxd. We'll talk it over. Uh, uh, okay. Thanks, talk to you later. Yeah, I'd love to. Hi, B. How's it going? Oh, uh, sorry. We were kind of having a conversation. Yeah, we were. Oh, no, I'm just saying hi. And I also maybe wanted to ask if we could talk. We don't have to talk about what happened. And even if we did, I'm in the middle of a conversation. I can't even say hi. You can when you're not interrupting someone else. Don't try to sit next to me, Marie. You want to talk about what happened? Call your mother. Okay. Take it back. That was a shit show. For now. It's a shit show for now. She's got to talk to me eventually. I'll find a way to get her to talk to me. 
even if I have to go through every person in this class to get to her. Or we focus on getting through this class together and let everyone else do their own thing. My therapist told me that I should go after what I want. And that's what I'm doing, and it's just therapy. No, no it isn't. <laughs>